And this is where we throw the game. So, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Ox here with another video. If you're new to the channel, we do upload Pokemon Go content, mostly related to PvP. And if you're a returning subscriber like Magic J Carp, thank you for the support. Taking a look at some battles in the Master League, and we are bringing back Reshiram. I know a lot of you might be asking, where is the Shundo Reshiram? Well, I actually didn't have enough rare candy to build it because of this Zacian that I recently got, and that is a much more worthwhile investment and a Pokemon that I think might be necessary to make Reshiram work in the Master League Classic meta. The team we are showcasing in today's video consists of a Groudon in the lead, Zacian, and Reshiram in the back. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. This team is going to be extremely weak to Ho-Oh in the lead and in general it doesn't really look like it would benefit much from Groudon in the lead, Reshiram in the back. You're right and in many cases it would make a lot more sense to lead with Reshiram but based on what I was seeing in the meta, Groudon in the lead just made a lot more sense. And you're going to see in this video I do actually switch to Reshiram in the lead for the final two battles because Groudon stops working as, or rather not Groudon stops working, but the team itself starts struggling a bit. So this isn't exactly the team I would recommend building around Reshiram, but we did start off with some really good success reaching veteran rank. And then towards the end, you see how hard it is to actually run Reshiram in the Master League. If you guys enjoy this type of content, please consider leaving a like on the video. It really helps the channel grow. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. And without any further ado, let's jump into the first battle right now. All right, so Reshiram 2 Legend has officially returned for the Master League. And we got a brand new toy right here in the form of Zacian, which is borderline broken, to be honest. It is actually so strong. Highly recommended if you have one built. There's barely anything that hard counters this thing, so it works on just about any team. Groudon into Dialga right here. One swaps onto Mewtwo, and right away you notice one of the issues with this team, there isn't exactly a great answer to Mewtwo here. So I let the first move go through. Happens to be an Ice Beam, which isn't great. Now because they almost knocked us out, I expect these shields to come up here. So I do go for the bait with Fire Punch. And that's going to allow us to get to the Earthquake. Since they shielded, it's either two shields or they let the Mewtwo go down. They decide to let it go down right there. Did not want to give up both shields. And we end up taking Switch while taking a shield as well. We have Zashi now still for the Dialga. So two solid answers here for the Dialga. Of course, the Groudon matchup is pretty close. And even the Zashi matchup could be a little bit close with the Iron Head. The opponent here makes a great catch onto the Giratina. Or was it Play Rough super effective? So ends up working in our favor. Reshram comes in and farms down right there. Opponent comes back in with the Dialga. I'm gonna go for the Overheat right here because we either get the Knockout or the shield, and if we get the shield, the Zacian is going to come back in and basically win this game. So they do farm us down completely, that's totally fine. Come in with the Zacian right here, going to shield up this Iron Head, get off this close combat, and take this first game. So pretty straightforward right there. Of course, Mewtwo, as you see, is a bit of an issue. So I am obviously going to switch this team up at some point because there are a lot of issues. As I mentioned, Ho-Oh in the lead is very problematic because there is really no safe switch. I mean, Reshiram beats it, but you can't really bring in your only answer. And most times when you bring in Reshiram, you're going to get hard countered pretty badly by something like a Dialga. So right here we see Giratina Origin in the lead. Opponent's going to be going for the move. I am going to let this first one go through. Going to try and land the Earthquake. And now because we're actually so low in HP, I'm going to try and catch the Omniswin onto my Zacian because they're likely to throw an Omniswin. We're in that range and here comes the Zacian. Absolutely beautiful right here. As long as they don't get the boost, which they don't. And now we have energy stored on the Groudon. We preserved a shield. The opponent matches that amazing sack right there onto the Melmetal catching that play rough. Of course, we're not going to throw a close combat at the Giratina, so it's a Pretty safe swap right there, but unfortunately for the opponent, Melmetal isn't that great of a matchup here for Zacian. Granted, we are pretty low, but we will get to two close combats right here. So the first one coming through, the opponent is going to allow this to take out the Melmetal. They come back in with the Giratina. I could have definitely reached the play rough here, so I think this was a misplay going for the close combat right here. But it is what it is. We get farmed down. Going to come in with the rush around here. We do have two shields, and of course, we do want to shield up in case it is the Shadow Ball. It won't KO, but if they have something like Dialga in the back, we obviously want to keep this thing healthy. 
ends up being an Excadrill instead, so not looking too good here. Reshram has a lot of issues in this meta. Excadrill is one of them. Overheat would KO, so I'm gonna throw this move right here. Remember, we have energy stored on the Groudon, so this is gonna get the shield, swap out into the Groudon. Going for the Fire Punch right here. And the important thing to know here is that this does not KO. If I get to the Fire Punch, I do not want to throw it. I want to be able to come in here and farm down the Excadrill as opposed to having the opponent coming in and farming down the Groudon with their Giratina, which could give them the energy lead they need to take out the Reshiram. We do survive a Shadow Ball right here, able to farm down and take that game, but it definitely came down there towards the end of that match, getting that, or rather preventing the opponent from getting that farm on us might have won us that game. Either way, we do take that battle 2-0 to start off this set Groudon into Zacian. Groudon's actually one of the better responses for Zacian in this meta. There aren't too many things that really counter. Of course, something like Metagross is going to be really good, but Groudon is a pretty decent answer as well. Going for the Earthquake, they decide not to shield swap out into our own Zacian, hopefully looking to catch a Wild Charge or Close Combat, but they do go for the Play Rough, so that's a bit unfortunate. I'm going to shield up this time, it is another play rough, and the opponent swaps out into Giratina Origin, which again is one of the more standard answers for Zacian in this meta. Play rough comes through, does a bunch of damage. I'm going to get to this play rough right here, hoping they give up the shield at this point, which they do. And now they actually can't farm down before we get to another close combat, so that is going to force the opponent to dump some of their energy right here. That takes out the Zacian. And at this point could come in with either the Groudon or the Reshram. It has to come with Reshram because it's more likely we will farm down before they get to a move. Dialga in the back, so I swap out into the Groudon right here. A great catch from the opponent onto this Earthquake. That is amazing. Zacian gets taken out. Dialga comes back in at this point. I figure I'm just going to go for two Fire Punches here. And basically put this thing in the range where Reshram could come in and just farm it down if need be. The opponent is going to throw. I actually decide to shield here and get off another fire punch. This is a bit of a risky play, but I was pretty confident that we would be able to get to two fire punches here, so it's not too bad. It does get the shield there from the opponent. As you can see, we do get to the next fire punch. If they were able to farm us down and somehow get to the Draco Meteor, of course, that would have been really bad news for us, but we do take that game 3-0 to start off this first set right here, pushing for that veteran rank. Zashian lead once again into our Groudon. This time the opponent is going to swap out immediately into the Giratina Altered. And I thought this was actually Giratina Origin, so I swapped immediately. Giratina Altered is a bit more problematic for Reshiram, not as dominant of a matchup because it does have access to Dragon Claw, which is very spammy and dealing super effective damage. So going for the Crunch right here, the opponent does shield. At this point, we don't win in the one shield, so I decide, you know what? The defense dropped on the Giratina. Let me just lose this, come back in with the Brown on and go for one of the most aggressive farm downs ever. And of course, I'm not gonna be able to farm down completely. I will have to throw a fire punch, but fire punch is basically resisted damage. With the defense drop, it's like a decent amount of damage. It'll basically put the Giratina in the range we want it to be for a complete farm down here, even throwing the excellent, as you could see. We'll take another move here, preserving our shields, but I will go for the complete farm down right here. We are at 100 energy. They come in with Zerud. I threw blindly, obviously kicking myself right now because Fire Punch would have been dealing super effective damage. But Zacian has a pretty good position to be in here against the Zerud in the back and also have a shield advantage against the opposing Zacian. So I'm going to throw this play rough right here that goes unshielded. The opponent is going to throw a move. We are going to let this go through. It is a wild charge. So that's very, very nice for us. Going to shield up the second one. And now at this point, I'm trying to stop the switch timer a little bit, so I'm going to throw the close combat, hoping that I could swap out into my Groudon to reset the defense drop here. The Zerud comes back in. I'm going to build up to two moves, throw the close combat right here, and actually this game is going to be over without needing to swap out into the Groudon because we have the back-to-back -back close combats ready to go. Bang! There it is. Zerud gets taken out. We win that game. 4-0 should be enough for veteran rank, but let's go for the perfect 5-0. This team overperforming in the moment. Route on into Zacian. Another Zacian lead. Zacian, of course, is extremely prevalent within this meta. Lugia comes in here. And again, another Pokemon, which I don't really have a great answer for. So that got me thinking, this team 
definitely appears to be overperforming, overachieving, because there are quite a bit of issues here. As we've seen, Mewtwo is a little bit problematic. Lugia is a little bit problematic. So what are we going to be doing right here? And this matchup actually was a bit of a wake-up call. We do call the Aeroblast, which is very nice, but I end up making a mistake right here. So notice the opponent looks like they're gonna be going for a second Aeroblast. So I actually go for the Clay Rough right here. And I got a little bit afraid and was hoping they would shield this up right here. So I go for the close combat, which won't KO. When they know shield, I have to swap out because I am at risk of being knocked out from that arrow blast. But I do end up burning the shield anyways on the ground on. They come back in with the Zacian. We do have a lot of HP still left on our own Zacian, so not too bad if they have something like Dialga in the back. They do let that move go through, which is actually really huge. Nothing should KO from this range, so we should be able to get to this Fire Punch, but I actually decide to let them throw energy instead. Come back in with the Zacian now that they have debuffed themselves two times and farm down completely with Snarl. So that is huge for us. Let's see what they have hiding in the back. And it is the Dialga. So I'm going to build up to two close combats here. Again, a beautiful catch from the opponents. Going to hit no bubbles right here because we want to get that farm. They threw Aeroblast. They're dry. We're basically at two close combats once again. I'm going to throw the first one here. And I kind of lost count at where the Dialga was at this point. So I was a little bit afraid that they might have an Iron Head. So I decide to swap out to Rush Ram knowing that they have to go for the Draco Meteor or else I will get off a move right here. Draco Meteor means they're going to be dry energy. We come back in with the Zacian. Gonna hit them with that close combat. Bang! There it is. Dialga gets taken out. We take that game. We end up going a perfect 5-0 in set number one. I was thinking, hey, maybe this team is actually pretty good. But you're gonna see in this next set, there are quite a bit of misplays and a lot of hard matchups. Let's see how it goes in the next set of battles. So jumping into set number two, and we are leading Groudon once again, this time into Dialga. So again, we've seen this in the first battle of this video, and we also saw this safe switch of Mewtwo. Last time we went for the Fire Punch, they shielded. This time we build up to the Earthquake once again, baiting with the Fire Punch. Earthquake would deal huge damage, but this person has balls of steel. So they know shield, gonna go for the Fire Punch right here. They do shield the second one. I swap out into Reshiram while being behind on energy. So. Not the greatest situation. I might just let the rush round go down here, but instead I make one of the more questionable plays of all time. And in large part because I lost count of where the Mewtwo was, I was not counting. And look at that. I double shield rush round against Mewtwo. Absolutely horrible play. Thankfully we do get to the overheat, which was sort of the plan here by double shielding. And I was hoping they would shield, but they actually didn't. So that's a bit problematic. I will now come in with the route on hoping to farm down before they get to a move, which we are able to do. So things aren't looking too bad at this point. They come in with Kyogre. I need to realize my win con here is baiting with the Fire Punch. Earthquake is a big mistake right here because they do shield it up. So right there, my win con is gone because Zacian can't really do anything to Kyogre without Wild Charge. And as you've noticed by now, we are not running Wild Charge. So gonna go for the close combat here. This is not going to be enough to take out the Kyogre. We also let that waterfall sneak through, which means they are going to have that Surf ready. And that means we are going to lose this game right here. The Mewtwo is basically dead too. So actually, if we didn't let that waterfall sneak in, maybe we could have won that game. Actually, no, probably not. Still, we would end up losing. But the win con there was basically not getting that Fire Punch or rather not going for the Earthquake, getting the Fire Punch bait with the Shield, and then landing the Earthquake later in that game. Either way, it was a winnable game that we ended up losing. Well played to the opponents. Definitely got outplayed right there. Giratina Origin into Groudon right here. So it's almost like a replay of the first set in terms of what we're seeing here. Going to once again, no shield, the Shadow Ball, build up to the Earthquake. I always want to over farm in case they do try catching onto a flying type of some sort. Earthquake comes through and again, we're going to try and catch the Omniswind onto the Zacian because there's no point for them to throw Shadow Ball there. We're low enough for Omniswind. Zacian so takes that very well. Get met by a Metagross right here. So going to go for the close combat. Uh, we're ahead on energy by quite a bit right here and the opponent is going to shield that up, which means we get to a second. I decide to no shield this. I will come in here with the ground on. We have a fire punch more or less ready to go here. Basically got earthquake even. So I'm gonna get off two fire punches here most likely I think. Fire punch comes through. 
and I swap out into the Reshiram and there's a bit of lag. So maybe I should have thrown that Fire Punch instead of swapping our melee into the Reshiram, but I figured Reshiram with two shields here is in a pretty good spot. We do call the Meteor Mash. I know here I need to over farm in case I have something like the Alga in the back. I'm expecting another Meteor Mash here, so I decide to no shield and it's an Earthquake. So I just threw the most winnable game of all time, Reshiram in a position to just basically steamroll the competition right there with a nice overheat crunch is ready to go. And I got a little bit cocky with that no shield and we end up losing that game. So definitely a misplayed game right there. And now we get rewarded with the worst lead we could possibly see here in the form of Ho-Oh. And it was at this point that I realized if I lose this game, I'm probably gonna switch to a Reshiram lead. Groudon plus Zacian in the back, two Dialga answers because we're making a lot, of, a lot of misplays. I think the first set, the 5-0, we did play well, but I also think we just got a little bit fortunate with either opponents making misplays or just getting the right calls half the time. But right here, you could see we're not able to win this in the one shield. So I have to end up burning both shields. And here comes Mewtwo, and this game is basically over because without any shields and no hard counter to Mewtwo, there is absolutely zero winning this match. I come in with Reshiram, and unfortunately, I'm not going to get to this crunch in time, which means that we're going to get taken out here without even getting a shield from the Mewtwo. So things are looking horrible. I could come in with Groudon, but I'm actually not even ahead on energy. So if I do, it's going to be a CMP tie on side strike. I can't even catch on Zacian if I want to because it hurts so much. And the Mewtwo is about to sweep this entire team. So Ho-Oh lead, Mewtwo safe switch, absolutely problematic for this team and we are going to get destroyed or they've been bringing the dialga to give us a little bit of hope right here gonna go for the close combat i basically need to build up to like three moves right here which isn't going to happen um you know the game kind of got close there it's i mean it didn't really get close it was just a blob but it makes you feel like you could have potentially won that game but again ho -Oh is definitely the worst lead to see with this team so definitely need to rebuild this team and we bring in the Reshiram lead, and now we get to basically replay the last matchup, this time with Reshiram in the lead instead. So, Reshiram is a pretty solid matchup right here. I'm gonna throw the crunch here on the CMP to the Earthquake. Definitely are going to have to shield up the Earthquake because basically we'll one-shot Reshiram. Even at this range, I'd imagine. Earthquake is going to come through. We do shield it up. They swap out into Zekrom. Here comes the Groudon. So things are looking very good at this point might be thinking how could we possibly lose this battle we probably can't unless we start making mistakes which is very common on this channel so earthquake coming through when i see ho-oh plus zekrom i'm thinking it's a dialga in the back so we'll see what they come in with here i was kind of expecting the ho-oh but they actually bring in the dialga didn't look like i'd make it to the earthquake so i'm just going for the guaranteed damage here with the fire punch or maybe even the shield they decide not to shield very nicely done i will have to come in here with the zashian and this is where we throw the game. So I probably should just shield here, but I decide not to. We do survive anyways, but I expect them to swap out after throwing that move and they didn't. And because they're staying in, we just gave them the game. So a huge misplay on our part. You wanna talk about misplays. We're currently 0-3 in this set. We're about to go 0-4 in this set. Reshiram gets demolished by Dialga right there. If we had best buddy on the Reshiram, we would get one more damage for the Dragon Breath. And for some reason, I go for close combat here against the Ho-Oh. I mean, neither move's really doing anything, but I did not want the damn smoke. So I backed on out of that match. We are 0-4, trying to salvage the 1-4 set here after going 5-0. Reshiram into Lugia. This is a pretty awful lead. And Lugia is actually pretty horrible for this team as well. So as you can see, there are a lot of issues with this team. And despite that first 5-0, I left in the second set because I didn't know I did not want to fool you guys thinking this is an OP team that's just going to win. As you can see, this team has a lot of issues, and it's important for me to showcase this second set here and let you guys know that I too lose a lot of battles. We win sets, we lose sets, we went 5-0 with this team. Now we're about to go 0-5, right? So we got a crazy farm down there on the Lugia, which is actually very nice. Groudon comes in. We're gonna throw the play rough right here. And the opponent actually decides to over farm quite a bit. So that's gonna allow me to get to this close combat. And they're still deciding to over farm past this. So that gets me to another 
close combat, which will likely see the shield come up from the opponent. And I decide here, hey, like, we're so deep off, they'll probably just go for Fire Punch. If they do, it'll do a lot, but we'll survive. I'll swap out into our own Groudon. I want it to be dry on energy right here. Could be an Earthquake, they have a lot of energy, so I am going to respect the shield it up. Thankfully, it is the Earthquake. I'm gonna overfarm past our own Earthquake in case they have something in the back trying to catch. It happens to be Giratina altered, so we'd have to throw Earthquake anyways. And thankfully for us, the opponent doesn't really have any nuke moves, so we could over farm past the Earthquake right here. I'm gonna build up to 100 energy, throw the Earthquake, which will knock out the Giratina, and now it comes down to a race. I could have swapped out and pretty much guaranteed this victory, but I didn't think they were already at an Earthquake, so I felt we were okay here. They actually are in an Earthquake, so we're trying to throw another game right here. Thankfully, we do get to the close combat, and we are going to win a game going 1-4 and four in this set after a complete debacle of battles. Started 5-0, next set 1-4. This team definitely needs to be reworked, but Reshiram is a spice pick. So those were the battles in the Master League Classic featuring Groudon in the lead with Sashin plus Reshiram. We later switched Reshiram into the lead spot. I think that would perform a little bit better in general with the two Dialga counters in the back. But the main thing to take out of this video is that Reshiram is very difficult to build around. Despite that, we are going to keep on trying to win with it. And there will be a lot more videos with Reshiram in the next two weeks. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, commenting, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.